All right, Kenman here, and today is going to be an interesting project day. I'm keeping a positive attitude about it. I'm excited. I like doing some custom work. I have this Gerber that's a little less than desirable, but we're going to see what we can do with it and have some fun. Before we start, <laughs> I'm not sponsored by anyone, and I purchase everything at retail price. I do these videos because I love discussing knives and sharing info and ideas with others. If you have any questions or thoughts, please feel free to comment below. The our knife world that we live in today is interesting. There is a lot of stuff out there ranging in many, many prices from extremely inexpensive all the way up to ext very expensive. Um, you can buy a knife for five bucks. You can buy a knife for $5,000, you know, and everything in between. These days, it's great. You can spend 45 bucks, get yourself a button lock CJRB Pyrite right here. Perfect size, works great. Got a good choke up, a daily carry knife through and through right here. And you would not be upset. ARRPM9 steel. It's just, it's a great tool it's a great knife it's a great fidget toy this is a good knife to get for that price you can't really beat it 40 bucks 45 bucks there's a lot of good options this was like 17 dollars at blade hq ultimately i was looking to buy a pen where is that pen anyway um i saw this nice uh stainless pen stainless steel pen that i wanted um and it was cheap, and so I was like, ah, oh, what else is on there? Maybe I'll get something fun for the project. I grabbed this Gerber. It was $17, I think, like I said. I didn't read as much into it as I should. I saw the handle. I saw it was this aluminum kind of two-tone, and I was like, oh, I could do a laser mark experiment on there. That would be kind of fun. Oh, it's kind of an axis style crossbar lock. That's kind of fun too. And I basically just threw it in the cart and ordered it. Didn't really, whatever. I should have known what I was getting into. It's a, you know, Gerber does make some nicer stuff. I talked to a few people. They've got some Gerbers that they like that are in that $40 range, which then makes a little more sense. Um, it's a 7CR18 MOV blade, so it's not the highest quality of steel. And this crossbar lock, it's assist. There's a spring in there. And so when you have an assist, the crossbar isn't going to, you know, you're supposed to pull a crossbar and it's just supposed to drop and swing shut. And then you could swing it open. But it doesn't work like that when you have the assist spring in there. So it kind of, eh. <sighs> you know, here we are. It's got the secondary lock. Focus. And you pull it back and it doesn't stay. And you pull it back and it doesn't stay. And you pull it back and it doesn't stay. And then it stayed. It's like setting a mouse trap. Barely touch it and it'll go back. And then you're like, ah, now I got to do it again. So you get it there. And that's just the secondary lock. So then you can flip it out. So does it really need that secondary lock? No. It sucks that it doesn't really. But boom. There you have that assisted opening. We're going to mess around with this. I'm going to try to laser mark the blade. We're going to take it apart. Maybe I can take the spring out, let's take the spring assist out and attempt to try to turn it into just a crossbar style lock. But I'm worried if it's just one spring control on the whole deal, if I take that out, then the crossbar is just going to be loosey goosey in there. So I don't know what we're going to be able to do, but we're going to try. And either way, this was cheap and it's not something that I, you know, am too worried about. So let's have some fun. Last looks. Comment below. Do you have one of these? You know anything about it? Should I take the blade in? Is that a because then it's got the spring against it so it may be safer to do it in the out yeah we'll see we're going to find out get these extras out of the way let's go ahead and take the pocket clip off first the big old Gerber label right across that clip let's try not to scratch start taking off an aluminum clip or a clip off an aluminum uh, scales and there's a little scratch underneath there where it's rubbing and 
Yeah, there's already one there, which is just basically the, the standard standard issue. And then you're going to flip it to the other side for the lefties, which is nice. But then that will forever always have that little ding in it. Again, sometimes, you know, it's a knife. It's a, you're going to use it. You're going to get dings in it. So it's kind of one of those things. If there's a barrel in the middle, under, or obviously there's barrels in, in the middle here, inside this back spacer you want to kind of loosen both sides kind of evenly if you loosen one side fast and then the other side's still super tight to that barrel it might free spin with the barrel and then you actually are not able to loosen it because it just continues to spin with the barrel and if you kind of get in here the way i'm going back and forth often you can kind of try to be careful not to scratch it you can get them both, get both sides loose. If you've got one that's just really stuck on that barrel, it, it can get tough. And then you end up having to screw in the other side again to relieve the pressure or to, you know, to get it to spin away from the other one. It just ends up being a pain. But if you do this, it might take a little longer sometimes, but you, you'll understand that if you ever get one that's stuck, that ends up taking more time often then I feel like I might have some spinning with them right now we're gonna get there come on that feels like it's free free okay oh getting close what oh, interesting so we've got just body screws here. How's the pivot gonna? Is that this? That's weird. Now, because there's that spring in there, we got to be careful too as we're coming apart here. Because if it all falls apart on us quick, then we can't see how it was. Then we might struggle putting it back together. The best way would be to go slow and make sure you can remember and see where everything goes. I mean, we're filming it, which is cool, which makes it a little bit easier to kind of... I can go back and watch the film, the tape. You go back and watch the tape. See, oh, wow, it took you seven minutes and you're just sitting here dinking around, not doing anything. Probably should not talk at all and just time lapse this part right here. These do not want to. See that? It's like you can't spin it any more than that. It's like it looks like they're out, but they're not. Like they may be free of the the liner in the middle. Is that spinning on that side too? I can't quite tell, but I might be getting a one of the one of these situations. Oh yeah, definitely. definitely. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera here. That was going through the backspacer there. It was. Oh, see now the one's gonna spin with that spacer. Which is exactly what I was explaining before. Here we are. Boom, boom. Okay. Of course. All right. So we got that one off. Oh, there's a spring. Um, I didn't expect this to drop so quick and easy. Could have been disastrous and forgot not been able to see okay so this spring is for that we're learning today i tell you what so this secondary lock has a spring right here what are they called omega springs um let's see if i can pop that out because it's kind of shaped like the omega 
Okay, so that was that. It went right there. Bang and bang. Longer side goes down into there. Definitely going to have to go back and watch the vid on this one. Um, I can't pull this side off right now because it is free spinning with that. Unless I can do this. That might not work either. We're... I think I might need to get that side off. This might not work though. Okay, so I'm using that to get on this side and I'm going to try to loosen this side, but it might just spin both and just push that one back out again, which is what it's doing. Yep, okay, so we'll see if we can make this work. Um, oh, look! Pivot. So it was like a hidden pivot inside, sitting inside of there. That makes more sense. Okay, so this spring here, next spring we got to learn about is this one. Boom, boom. That omega right there goes in like that. How is that hooked? Oh, it's wrapped around this whole thing. Okay, so if I can get underneath there. Maybe. Okay. Got it. Relieve the pressure of that one. And there's that. Fairly simple. I want to check that out a little closer. Very interesting design. Okay. Ooh, guess what, everyone? I bring this back. That spring was for that. But look. I still have the spring for that. So I should be able to maybe remove this assist. Looks like I got to do this. So there's a spring. For that, which is cool, there it is, that falls out, and now all we have left is the assist spring. This is actually, you know what, regardless of the quality of this knife, or whether or not you like it, or, or anything, we are learning some fun stuff today about design and how things are put together these extra springs i mean who some people will be like oh i knew of course i knew idiot well to me i've never taken apart one quite like this so this is definitely interesting and we're gonna have some fun messing around with it okay so why does this still not want to Remember, there's a blade. Okay, boom. There is that lock. I am not going to put that lock back on. That is going to just be left off. I think that's going to be the best move. Boom. So, oh, there. I was like, where's the spring? It's in this on this side. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to be careful. I'm going to squeeze this. Wow. That's not working either. It's like you don't want to squeeze it too hard and like damage that. I mean, that maybe you can't, but. <clears throat> So there's some Loctite type issues on this right here, and I need to figure out how I can clamp that and unscrew it, because I can't get to the spring on the back side, so we can't reveal the rest of this action. Now basically, we're done. It looks like there's a spring and stuff inside there, the pivot on the other side because it doesn't go all the way to the back it just goes through on the back side of this where this little brass piece is 
but I cannot, unfortunately, I gotta figure out a way to do that. I should be able to, I mean, that's the thing is you'd think you'd be able to just squeeze this tight enough to then make it go. I think it's just all I'm doing is just working a line in the side of that it's not even gripping it enough how can I get a hold of that it's just like a little bit too much of that Loctite or whatever that they put in there I wonder if I'd have to heat it up or something but I don't want to mess up this scale this is a cheap knife, I know, but at the same time, <sighs> sorry, we're almost there. I could just end it now, and but I wanted to kind of look at this, talk about it. It's kind of interesting the way these sit on there. Can't quite get. I wonder if I can put some pressure against it I don't know if you know what I'm getting at but maybe I'm trying to be able to get a little bit of an angle on this without it whack a doodle who's enjoying it when I do this type of crap and it just just sitting here and nothing's happening um okay I'm trying to just put that pressure against there to maybe Real, you know, give it enough that it lets it loosen off. That was a good sign. I can actually hold it and do that. I don't. Yeah, that's a stinking. That's a real, real one. We may have to call it time of death. Just won't do it. All right, that's it. I'm going to make the video 20 minutes long just because you're watching me tear to tear this thing apart and it's stupid. Um, yeah, if we look inside there, there's a spring in there and then there's the other side of the pivot and that's it. We're good to go and we'll be apart. So the next video I have, we'll mess around with it. should be fully apart. Um, I want to do... Uh, some type of a laser mark on here so comment below what would you like to see a pattern or a design or something that you'd be interested in trying out and uh, then when we try to get her back together I'm gonna leave this clip off we're gonna try to leave the assisted spring out which is inside of here and oh wow it goes that's part of it too see that so that assisted spring is way it's this whole thing right up here I'd love to show it but I can't get in there um, yeah Interesting enough, what a learning experience we've had today. Um, I apologize, was not able to get her to completion, and I didn't want to go and just, I don't know. I'm not sure how I'm going to get that off of there because I can't squeeze it tight enough. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. Comment below what you thought about it, what you think we should do for the laser mark on here. If you enjoy what you see, please hit that like button and subscribe if you would like to see more. It helps me out and I really appreciate it. Stay sharp. I'll see you soon.